Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided to go ahead and test out my Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now this is not a new palette at all. You guys know it's been out for a while, but I just got my hands on it. Now there is a dual ended brush in here like all of their usual palettes, but this palette actually has 16 shadows instead of the usual 14, which is kind of nice. But these are the shadows in this palette. Let's go ahead and just jump into some swatches. Now this palette has a lot of different finishes. There's satins, there are metallics, as well as pressed glitters and pressed pigments. So there's a lot of different textures to play around with in this palette. As I was doing the swatches, I noticed that I really, really like the satins as well as the pressed glitters. They're very, very pretty, very vibrant. The pigmentation is very bold and gorgeous. The mattes are your average ABH formula to me. We do have a little guest today. <laughs> this is the grandbaby. Aiden here visiting for a while so he just wanted to say hi okay so let's jump right in I'm starting out with my elf all day stay eyeshadow primer just using a fluffy brush to blend that out all over my lid the first shadow I'm going into is called New Yorker <laughs> and it's just a light tan shade and I'm using that as a transition just buffing that out with a fluffy brush in my crease area. Next, I'm going into the shade, what is this, Simsa? I'm trying to read that, Simsa. It's like a deep plum type matte shade. And I'm just taking that on a small fluffy brush in my crease area. As you can see, I'm kind of focusing on my inner and outer corners with this color just making sure I get that pigmentation down and blend it together. Now I wanna go in and blend that better with the first shade. So I'm taking that brush that I used on the first shadow and just kind of blending out the edge of that purple, making it nice and seamless. Now to deepen the inner and outer corners, I'm going into this dark brown shadow, which is called Yugo taking a dense fluffy brush and just packing that in the outer corner, blending it into that purple shadow, as well as doing the same for my inner corner. And this is what we have for our crease. Now for my shimmer, I'm going into this beautiful pink shimmer shade called Reezy. And I am just spraying my brush and placing that down on the center of my lid. I wanna create a bit of a halo eye today. So as you can see, I'm just packing that down only on the center. Now to blend out the edges, I'm going back into Simza and I am using that same fluffy brush to tap out the edges of that pink shade just to make it nice and blended. And for an extra pop, I'm going into Barb, using my finger to just tap that on that halo portion of my lid. And this shadow does have a lot of fallout, as you can see, a lot of fallout. So I would suggest to use a glitter glue, unless you wanna get glitter all over your face. <laughs> but it's a very, very pretty shadow. Now to line my eyes, I'm going in with my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner as usual. And I'm just creating a simple, small wing for this look, nothing major. Now moving to the face, I'm using my Benefit, and this is the Professional Primer. I really like this primer, you guys. It's kind of interesting, kind of like a cream to powder finish. Very, very nice. For my foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible. This is the matte foundation, and this foundation dries down very matte. So if you don't like a, fat, a matte finish, 
you won't like this foundation. <laughs> I like this foundation a lot. I love the finish. This shade does pull a bit orange on me, but I don't worry about it because when I finish up with my concealer and bronzer and powder, it actually turns out to be the perfect foundation shade for me. So it works out just fine. But as you can see, it's a very matte finish. Now for concealer, I'm using my Juvia's Place and this is the I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 11. I really like this concealer. Um, it has excellent coverage and it blends out very easily in my opinion. It's one of my favorites and so it works very nicely with this foundation for me. I don't have any issues with blending it out or you know the tone or color of it giving me any problems these two in combination work very very well together for me now for my powder i am going to use my becca hydramist powder <laughs> this is my absolute favorite loose powder currently this stuff is super super fine um, it took me a while to get used to it because it is a different type of feel but you guys, this powder is so bomb. I love this powder. My girl Lily gave me an extra one, so I have another one after this one, so I'm so excited. <laughs> love this powder. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Powder. I use the shade C7. This is a very nice powder um, for setting your face. If you do like a nice full coverage, this powder works out very, very well for me. Now I'm trying out this Too Faced Bronzer. This is the Dark Chocolate Matte or Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It is a really nice bronzer. It doesn't go as deep or as rich as I typically like for my skin tone. But if you are my skin tone and you like a nice kind of soft understated bronzer, this would probably be a good one for you. Easy to blend out. Now for blush and highlight, I'm using my Colored Rain and Power Collab Palette. This is not part of my Shop My Stash, but I thought that the color of this blush would work better for me <laughs> to use. And this highlighter, you guys, it is really, really pretty. So I think it matches well with the eye look that I'm doing today. Of course, you guys know I have to add a little bling to my nose as well. As well as that brow bone, making it pop. Now going back to the eyes, I'm going back into that purple matte shade and I'm just using a flat fluffy brush to just kind of smoke out that lower lash line. I'm also going in with just a black pencil eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel. And I'm just using that to line my lower lash line. Now you guys know I had to try out this blue. I was so tempted to not even use the blue for this eye look since it was just a pretty purple and pink look. But I had to test out that blue. I just could not do a look without trying it out. And that blue is so popping, you guys. It is so pretty. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the shade Barb, spraying my brush and just tapping that on the inner corner. Now the name of that blue is Leo, which is my sign. I am a Leo, <laughs> so I do like that. For lashes, I'm using these Ardell Double Up Lashes, and this is the number 210. I really like these. They actually fit my um, lash line perfectly. I don't have to cut them or anything. They're the right size for my eyes, so I really like these. For my lower lashes, I am using my Pretty Vulgar Mascara. For my lips today, I'm going in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner. Y'all know this is my favorite. I haven't used it in a while, so I was so happy to get this back on my lips. <laughs> I love that color, you guys. And I'm going in with some of my Fenty Gloss Balm. And this one is in the color Diamond Milk. 
I think this shade could be a little intimidating, but depending on what kind of lip liner or lipstick that you put it on top of, it can look really, really pretty. So I like it with this lip combination today. So this is the look you guys for my Amorezy eyeshadow palette. I like it. These shadows are gorgeous. I love the shimmers, the glitters, the blue, everything is just really pretty. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. Toodles!